Hey everybody, Spun here. I uh, got some news for you for you NDI lovers. Uh, some news dropped yesterday. New Tech or VizRT Group. Anyway, I think New Tech falls under them now. They own NDI now and they have come out with some new NDI tools that includes a new Screen Capture HX. Now this is Scan Converter renamed and upgraded. And it's got some really neat features including hardware GPU support. It uses NVENC instead of using your CPU now, which is a really nice feature. It takes a lot of load off your CPU, uses NVENC, uh, and that gives you some added capabilities that we didn't have before, including above 1080p support for resolution. Right now, this is 1440p I'm sending. It goes up to 4K and up to 120 hertz FPS support. So that's really nice. Uh, I think it actually even goes any higher. I think the 120 is what they're advertising, but I actually tested it yesterday and I was sending 144 frames. Take that as you will. But the fact that you can get higher resolutions in 1080p is a really nice feature. Let's show you a little bit of what they're talking about here. And this is the news that they dropped yesterday. Uh, so the new MDI tool is optimized for NVIDIA GPUs. And they are saying that it replaces the need for video capture cards. Well, uh, we'll see about that. Uh, I'm sure Elgato will argue that point, but uh, I haven't used a capture card in a long time for my gameplay. I've been using NDI forever, so uh, take that as you may too. But yes, so it's using the uh, NVENC now, which is really nice. So yeah, full resolution screen capture up to 4K and at frame rates up to 120. Say yes, yeah, so they're saying at frame rates up to 120 hertz and higher. I definitely tested it yesterday, 144 hertz was working at least for me. Remember though, this is the key with this, is that you need a gigabyte network, internal network, right? The great thing about HX is it's using that uh, H.264 and it does use lower bandwidth than what the original NDI or the full HD NDI uses. Uh, so the latency is ridiculously low, really good uh, support for capturing audio from any sound device and full KVM solution, which this is the, the, the remote, remote KVM uh, control did work with the other scan converter, but this is uh, a really nice feature. So you can use this for your KVM, which is cool and uh, full control over the video bandwidth, resolution, frame rate. And this is something that we did not have before uh, in Scan Converter. So you're able to select the quality, the resolution, and the frame rate that you could do for. So let's uh, real quick, just go and let's show you the new one. Again, when you start it up, it's running in the background as a little app and all the controls are there via a right click. All right, so here is the new layout. So you got video bandwidth. I'm sending high. Uh, you got medium and low. You got video resolution and you can set the monitor resolution or you can choose whatever resolutions you have available. Now, if I had a 4K monitor, 4K would also be an option to select here. Uh, video frame rate, you can again choose the monitor frame rate. That's how I was getting the 144 Hertz or you can choose any of the other ones, 60 Hertz, you know, 25, 9, 29, 30. Uh, audio source is pretty much the same. They changed it a little bit. Instead of having system audio, it's now default audio output. And here you still have capture your mouse. And this is the enable KVM control. Now on the other end, you need studio monitor to be able to do this. But in any case, it is there. So simple to use. Uh, it's just like the other one as far as simplicity, really easy. Uh, it's all there. The one thing I did not see in this that uh, was in the other one was a uh, the ability to choose an area or ROI is what they call it, uh, where you can choose a box and that would be the thing. So you don't have that in this. Uh, so if you were using that, uh, then uh, I don't know what to say. Maybe you can still get the old scan converter. If you go to New Tech's website, Go down to the bottom there. They have the old NDI tools with the old scan converter. If you go to ndi.tv, that's where the new stuff is. So I'll provide a link to both in the description. But yes, the new Screen Capture HX is beautiful. Works really well. I've got some gameplay footage here while I was playing Battlefield 3 and running around at 100 at 1440p and at 60 hertz.
that's that. The second thing I want to talk about is you Android lovers. If you have an Android mobile, and I would say a recent Android mobile, I wouldn't say one that's three or four years old, but one that you have uh, like a new Samsung Galaxy S20 or S10, uh, you know, any of the new phones coming out that uses the latest Android, NDI now has NDI Cam that you can get from Google Play. Now they had it for the Apple uh, devices, uh, but they just recently updated and come up with an Android version. Now, the issue I think, and I'm, something I have a, an issue with, is it's $20, which is, you know, that's what the Apple version cost. But when I compare it to other options out there, especially, uh, you know, like Epic Cam, which is a really nice app that should be coming out here on Android real soon, uh, that is currently on Apple uh, iOS devices that came out by Elgato, the Evoc Cam uses the NDI and it has a lot more features than what the NDI Cam app does. Uh, but I want to show you that now. So I've got a side by side of the NDI Cam on the dashboard on my phone and then the actual NDI device itself. So let's go ahead and I will switch over to NDI now and you can kind of see what it looks like. So this is my NDI. This is uh, my front facing camera or selfie cam on the phone. Uh, you do have the option to switch cameras. You have the ability to choose what bandwidth from between low, medium and high. Now as a weird thing with my phone, um, if I use the front facing camera, the ones that are the really nice quality cameras on my Galaxy 20, uh, Note 20, um, if I go to high bandwidth, my cameras don't work. It don't, my, my, the high bandwidth only works on my front facing camera, which is kind of weird, but um, hopefully that's just a bug. Uh, but you have a microphone mute and unmute. You have a grid that you can use for your uh, rule of thirds. You have exposure control and you also have zoom, which works pretty well, um, and which you can control up and down. It's just a slider that you can control up and down. So it does work okay. Um, you know, for a webcam, you're not going to be doing a bunch of Zoom stuff, I don't think. But it does work well. Uh, I think the picture overall looks pretty good. Uh, it Again, it's a mobile phone, so it's not going to look as good as like my Sony a6300 mirrorless. But, you know, overall, if you're looking for a solution for a webcam and you have a mobile device and you don't have an Apple and you can't get an Epoch cam, well, this is another option for you. Now, granted, there are better options out there, I think, like like uh, iRuin is a good which is I-R-I-U-N, um, it uses Wi-Fi. So if you have a Wi-Fi set, uh, set up in your house, you can use that. It's literally $4 and you can send 1440p, whatever resolution up to 4K that your camera on your mobile phone supports. Um, now personally, I've had issues with that. Um, 1440p is about as high as I can go without seeing stutter and stuff, but uh, overall it works a lot better and it's a lot cheaper. I think, or it works as good and is a lot cheaper. But I mean, if you're a NDI lover and you want an Andor NDI option on your Android device, then well, you know this is one that you can go with. Uh, it's a good, it's a great option. I like the, I like it. It works great. I just wish it wasn't quite so expensive. I think ten dollars would be more of a, uh, uh, an affordable and con uh, more sensible price than what we have here with $20 because it really doesn't have a ton of options uh, for something for $20. I would expect to be able to go in and do camera controls and that inside of NDI, which you can't do. Uh, the only thing you can really do is turn on a light, change the exposure, change the zoom. And that's it. Uh, there's no, there's no LUTs. There's nothing available, any kind of filtering. So yeah, it is what it is, but for NDI, it works great. And it is an option for a camera phone, as you can see there. All right. So that's the news. Uh, NDI, uh, is making waves again, and it's a good thing, especially the screen capture HX. That's a huge, huge deal. Now, I don't know that it works currently in OBS. Of course, it works because I'm showing you right here. Um, you know, you just saw the NDI cam, uh, but I don't think the OBS NDI plugin really supports HX fully. Uh, so hopefully, we get an update. There hasn't really been an update to the plugin since uh, June, I think, or May. So anyway. I know they've done a lot of stuff to it uh, that hopefully we'll see a new release, including full HX and HX2 support, because that's a new, the new one that's come out by NDI recently that 
uh, newer cameras, the Wi-Fi cameras and stuff are going to start supporting here soon. And it's a lot more stable than HX, works a lot better. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's just a quick update, quick news update for you. I hope uh, if you want to download it, I got links all in the description below. Also, real quick, I want to tell you, I'm working on a sponsorship through a company called Strategy Roasters. It is a coffee company. It's a, re it's a pretty new company, but they're out of Kentucky and they have a load of flavors, including Freedom Juice. They have a infused flavors, all kinds of infused flavor, including like peanut butter and jelly. And they have a scorpion pepper uh, infused uh, coffee that's supposed to be super hot. Anyway, I am currently working on a sponsorship with them. And if I get five people to order through them using the code Kenobi, as in Obi-Wan Kenobi, then if I can get five of those, I get a full sponsorship, including a frugal blend coffee that will then be purchasable uh, from their website. So make sure you check out strategyroasters.com and check out that. Y'all guys have a great rest of your week. Uh, the weekend's here. Christmas is around the corner. You guys have a Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And we'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye.